Hello Internet, Hewlett here, very sweaty, very tired, but very happy because his wife hurled him down the stairs and said, you are not skipping your burn and learn today, you are going to do it, and she made me do it, and I'm very glad she did, and I appreciate it, and I thank you, and you were right. She didn't hear, she never will hear, because she never watches these things anyway, so I'm pretty safe. Um, 32 minutes reading Dataclism because I am this data science thing. This whole big data challenge has blown my mind. I am obsessed with it, and I, I, I just feel like God, there's an opportunity there for people to play with this stuff. You gotta jump on it. So if you're in Canada, you're an educator, you're a, a student, whatever, just find out how to put a team together and get involved. It's going to be amazing. You don't need any prior knowledge of this stuff. They will give you the tools, they will give you the technology, they will give you the tutorials and the learning stuff you need to make sense of these massive troves of data and figure out um, you know, what you want to from those. Um, so in, um, inspired by that, oh, another thing I gotta say, November the 1st, they've extended their deadline, so you no longer have to rush. It is November the 1st. You've got until November the 1st to get a team together and get involved in the Big Data Challenge, and I'm sorry this is sounding like an infomercial. I don't mean to sound, um, I don't mean to hard sell this, but I, I truly believe that this is something that you will miss out on if you don't get involved. Um, I feel like I've missed out on it already. I, like, I wish this existed when I was a kid, because I think, um, I think it could have, it could have changed a lot of things, including the world. Um, so sort of in, in sort of honor of that, I'm continuing uh, plowing through this amazing Dataclism book. I was reading it last night, reading it again um, on this Burn and Learn, and I uh, learned a whole bunch of new Google Foo for Google Trends, which if you haven't played with, you've got to. Talk about an amazing introduction to Google Data, uh, to, to big data, it's Google Trends. Um, they are like, Google are like this almost religious figure that people go and pray to and say the most intimate things that they would never say to their closest relatives or friends or lovers or whatever. Um, you know, they, they, will, they will ask Google <laughs> instead. And they've taken this data and, of course, very anonymously, um, created a way for you to search that and see where, you know, where people's minds are at. Where, what's the zeitgeist of the time, if that's the right word. I've probably misused it. Um, but, you know, the general consensus. And it even talks about how the auto finish, the way you can start to, you start to type and it finishes it for you, um, uh, could be used to get a sense of what people are asking. And also, how it can inadvertently influence what people ask. Like, oh, that's okay to ask? Oh, I guess I'll ask it too. Or what were they looking for there? I mean, it's just a really interesting way about how the data can inform what you know about people, but can also persuade you into the same conscious, the same sort of collective um, uh, uh, consensus on things that doesn't actually, may not actually exist. So anyways, fascinating stuff, great book, but more importantly, big data challenge, get involved, get in there, get, in, get it done. I will put a link below as I did yesterday. Um, and let me know if you're doing this. I, I'm dying to hear what you're doing, what you're up to. Um, if I'm around, I'd love to come and see what's up and how it's done. Cause I, I, as I say, I've been trying to weasel my way in there myself and Maybe the only way to do that is to sort of just lean over people's shoulders to see what they're doing. So um, I'm happy to do that too. So until we geek again, sweaty or not, <laughs> cheerio.